Okay, um, I've gotten both my bow, uh, boots loose here. Um, one thing you want to go back and check is you've got sensors on these carburetors, whatever there may be four. So I've got a brown and white wire here, and there's a black one that goes back there. They're actually both round connectors. If you'll notice, I've got two black wires here. One is a round, and one's just a looks like old stereo speaker wire. Make sure you double check all that before you tear it apart. They both come up into this loom right here, and they actually go to that connector there. Um, technically, I guess we could just unconnect that, and you wouldn't have to figure it out. Uh, Maybe easier to do. Um, check out where your throttle cables are. Um, this can be your choke cable. You can take that off with a Phillips screwdriver. And uh, you've got a probably some kind of throttle positioning sensor right there with a plug. So make sure you remember where that's at. Let's see if just get that off right quick. Um, you're probably going to need to send up that one. You've got a fuel line right there, input. So you need to take that off. Okay, so I'm about to pull it out. Um, when you undo your throttle lines, a lot of times I just try and use, move one nut or the other, and that way you can put it right back to where it came from. That one I did the top nut. Um, this does have a hose that comes down. Where'd it go? That black hose there comes down underneath this flap, and it hooks to right there. Uh, it's probably some kind of uh, warm intake deal or something, I don't know. Or it leaks gas in there. So make sure you know where that goes. Um, I've just unhooked the wiring harness. I unhooked my sensor there. And I'm hoping that is all that this will require to get out. I can do it with one hand. That should be everything. I'm just caught on a few things. Make sure whenever you're working on motors like this, and I'm just going to let that hang. First thing you do is fill those up with paper towels. Alright, so we've got our input inputs with paper towels. That way you don't drop anything down your motor. And get these cables out here. One handed, hopefully. And we are free. So we got some carburetors we can clean. We'll need to take these air intake boots off. Alright. Apparently got a heat shield on the back side of that. Alright, well we'll call that one. 